Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes with another Fusion 360 tip. Today we're going to talk about sketch constraints. You know, those pesky little white symbols that can either be your best friend or your worst enemy, especially if you're a beginner, they can really tend to trip you up. I've got three tips for how to deal with them. And the third one by far, I think is the best one. So let's dive in and let me show you what I mean. Okay, here's the problem. Let's say you have a sketch that you created and you extruded it out to create a body. So we'll just create something really quick here and we'll go to stop sketch. Let's extrude this out. And now let's say you come back and you want to create a sketch on this surface. So you go to sketch, create sketch, and you get rid of the bodies and you just want to start sketching. So you hit C for a circle and then you create a circle here and you go ahead and try to move it and you realize it's acting really weird. Why is it acting funny? Well, it's constrained to that previous circle that was there. Uh, as you can see, again, we'll try a rectangle here and you try to move it and you can't, or you try to dimension it and you're getting errors. And you see you inadvertently set a midpoint constraint to that other rectangle that's there. So what Fusion 360 does, even though it doesn't show the edges until you hover around it, it actually projects every sketch entity from a body if you create a sketch on that specific body. So everything is automatically projected and that's what can cause all these problems with now trying to find these constraints and then trying to delete them. And if you're a beginner, this can be especially frustrating because nothing seems to be working. That's the problem. Solution one is pretty simple. If you want to avoid constraints, just hold control when you select a specific sketch entity. So let's grab the circle again. And when I go to place this, you can see that it'll reference this line up here, but it, once I hold control, I no longer reference it. So then it's a way to override the constraints. So you can just simply create your circle here and you don't have to worry that it's been constrained to any specific edge. But you forget to do that, right? You're not going to remember to always hit control or command on a Mac to avoid setting constraints. So you tend to have to keep going back and try to find them and delete them. All right, but that's a solution. Let's talk about solution number two now. So we'll stop the sketch here. Let's bring bodies back on. With solution number two, what you do is instead of creating a sketch directly on that surface, what you can do is go to construct and create an offset plane. Put your offset plane on the surface. Don't give it an offset, just have it as zero distance. Click OK. And then when you create a sketch, just simply create it on the offset plane. Now, if we go ahead and just turn off the previous sketches and turn off the bodies, there's nothing to reference. So now we can go and create a sketch and not worry about it referencing any edge. Okay, but that's still an added step. So here's why I think solution three is the best solution. We'll click stop sketch. And the way you enable solution three is you go up to your preferences. You go to your name up here on the right hand corner, grab preferences, and you're gonna go here on the left column, go to your design tab and uncheck where it says auto project geometry on active sketch plane. Click apply and then okay. And that'll prevent Fusion from automatically projecting when you create a sketch on a surface. So let's try that. We'll create a sketch on this surface. And we'll get rid of any visible sketches and also the body. And now we can see that it doesn't automatically project those edges. So there's nothing here to inadvertently constrain to. Now, I like the solution the best because it gives me the option of projecting what I want to project and not having it just project everything. So let's say if I have that body back, let's bring that back for a second. And let's say I do want to project this edge, for example. Well, I can just hit P on my keyboard for project and then select just that edge, click OK. And now I can just take away that body. And if I want to put a circle, let's say on the midpoint of that line, I can go ahead and do that. This gives you the control. It allows you to choose what edges you want projected. 
there's hardly any time where I want the whole entire sketch projected. Um, and if I want that, it's easy to do. I can just select the entire body to be projected. Um, but in most cases, I only will want to project to maybe a few lines or edges. Uh, and a lot of times, I don't want anything projected. So that's solution number three, which, like I said, I think is the best option here. All right, let me know if you guys found this useful. Were you already aware of all three solutions or maybe just one or two of them? If you have any specific question that would make a good subject for one of these quick tips, just leave it on the comments below and I'll see if I can get to it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so as I do these tips once a week. And as always, you can find more content on my website at desktopmix.com. I'll see you next week.